Hi and welcome to a new vlog. This week I'm going to show you three recipes that I really like. Easy, as per usual. Also, making the most out of, well, summer, moving into autumn. It's lovely today again. It's been pouring down for a couple of days, but we are back on summer and sunshine. But still, you can feel we are moving into autumn. So the first recipe is just a salad that I love to make. I'll show you what you need. You probably already know that your gut bacteria demand some good fiber to flourish. So for this salad, we're going to use lovely green cabbage that I'm going to shred and also a nice fennel, some fresh coriander. And then for the dressing, something I absolutely love, which is ginger, lime, toasted sesame oil and tamari or soy sauce and also a little bit of maple syrup lime. That's my absolute favorite combo. That's it. So first we're just going to shred in the food processor. You could just do it by hand. Um, the green cabbage, the fennel and the fresh coriander. Then put your shredded greens into a large mixing bowl. This is going to be so good for our gut. And this is something I take out at lunch and dinner just to have some extra fiber. And now we're going to grate a little bit of this ginger and make the salad dressing. Around two tablespoons of fresh lime juice about two tablespoons of tamari or soy sauce. About one tablespoon of maple syrup. I mean, this is all to taste, but this you can start with this and then see what you like. And about two and a half tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, my absolute favorite. Love it so much. And then grated ginger. So yeah, this is maybe almost two tablespoons, maybe a tablespoon and a half. I'll put that in this dressing. I like my ginger pieces quite big, but of course you can make them much smaller if you want to. And then just combine it all. So what I do now is I will put a lid on this and then store it in the fridge. And then I just take out a bit every time we eat, we're having dinner or lunch or whatever. And then I know that everyone will have had a really good serving of some amazing fiber, cabbage, fennel, you know, all of it. So if I'm serving this straight away, I will put in about a tablespoon of sesame seeds um, and serve it straight away. If I'm not serving it straight away and, you know, I'll keep it in the fridge, then I will sprinkle some sesame seed when I serve it. Mm -mm. This is so good. So much health in this bowl. Yes, do it. It's so easy and so easy to eat and so tasty. Okay, next recipe is super easy and no cooking involved, really, for me anyway, um, is an avocado hummus. So you probably know that I absolutely love to eat half an avocado a day because it keeps my skin really supple and moisturized from the inside. And I'm quite keen for, you know, the teenagers to also have some avocado and they like hummus, but they're not loving avocado on its own. So to do a an avocado hummus works okay. So that's what I'm going to do now. So this is what we need. Two avocados, a tin of chickpeas, about three tablespoons of lime, a large garlic clove, salt, pepper, olive oil, and tahini, and also some ground coriander. And for the when I'm when I'm serving, I'm putting some fresh coriander on top and also some chili flakes. Put all of it 
into the food processor. One tin of chickpeas, two avocados, one garlic clove, salt, pepper, ground coriander, about a quarter of a teaspoon, or I'm actually doing half a teaspoon here, about three tablespoons of olive oil, about three tablespoons of lime juice, and about one and a half tablespoon of tahini, and then mix it all up. chili flakes and a little bit of coriander. And my last recipe this week is an autumn super easy apple pie. So for this you need apples, sugar, golden syrup, cinnamon of course, oats, some flour, real butter and salt. That's it. Put the oven on 200 degrees Celsius and then start cutting up your apples. I have this attraction to remove the core, but you don't need that. But I do quite like it. There you see, all done. Then peel them. And slice the apples. Add them to a mixing bowl. And to this, you add four tablespoons of sugar. Two, three, four. And oh! and one tablespoon of cinnamon, but I put you on the cinnamon. Let's move you to the butter. <laughs> there we go. And then one tablespoon of cinnamon. Mix this up and then put it aside for a while. Now we're going to make the dough. We need a trusted food processor again and add 100 gram of lovely butter and three quarter of a cup of flour. This is gluten free, but any flour will do. Three quarters of a cup of oats, third of a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt and about three tablespoons of golden syrup. Two. Three. My God, this camera is now full of <laughs> sugar and avocado. In your little baking tray, you put all the um, apples. And then on top, you take your dough bit and spread it out on top. Spread the dough out on top. And now we're going to put this in the oven for about 30 minutes. And it's ready. So yummy. <laughs> Steaming up. I prefer to eat it just like this. But if you want custard or cream, that goes really well with it as well. So nice. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I get asked a lot if I'm a vegetarian, and I'm not. I used to be when I was a teenager for about seven years, I think I was a vegetarian, uh, but I'm not. Um, but I find that most people struggle with 
vegetables. Everybody knows how to cook a steak or bacon or maybe a fish, but uh, then the vegetables become an afterthought. And also when you've had kids and even when they are teenagers, you sort of need to coax them to eat more vegetables. And also, you know, as adults, we don't need, we don't eat enough vegetables. So that's why I try to concentrate on the vegetables. Anyway, I hope you like these three recipes. Please like and subscribe if you did and come back for another video next week. Take care now. Bye.